You really want to think about when, when I say posture up, I want you to get your head and neck over the rest of your spine. Okay, I'm going to show you the side view. And this is common. This is throughout the whole entire class. I want you to think about this. So if you're like this, right? Not only do you want to sit up straight, but you also want to pull your head back. Can you try that for me? So a lot of us, not just you guys, a lot of us tend to have this forward head. So I want you to sit up straight, and then I want you to pull your head back. So your ear is over, your shoulder is over your hips, okay? So it's not like we're doing this, but we're just kind of trying to get normal spine curves, okay? So you're going to keep that big, tall posture as we work out today. Deep breath in, bring those arms all the way up, reach for the sky, sit up as tall as you can. So when you're doing that, keep doing it, keep doing it. You're breathing right here, you're expanding into your rib cage. Good, big exhale, arms down. Good, do it again, nice deep breath in, bring those arms all the way up. Good, big exhale, arms down. Good, one more time, inhale, arms all the way up. Spread those fingers nice and wide. Good, big exhale, arms down. We're gonna reach forward like you're gonna reach me through the computer screen. Big, wide hands, and then we're gonna sit up nice and tall, press those arms back, open the chest up. We're gonna reach forward and then come back up, pressing those arms back. So this is a posture exercise, okay? We're gonna do 10 of them. That's 10 right there, we're counting backwards. Nine, we're focusing on movement quality and posture here. Eight, I want you to count with me, okay? From the side, it looks like this. Seven, big posture. Six, all the way up. Five, count with me. Four, all the way up. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Three, good, all the way up, nice and big. Two, Good, you got it, last one, last one. Good, nice and big. This time we're gonna reach forward. We're gonna stand up nice and big. Show me that big giant posture. Good, squeeze those shoulder blades together, squeeze your butt. Good, sit down, do it again. Reach forward and stand. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your shoulder blades. And sit down, do it, good, do it again. Reach forward, big stand, everything straight. And sit down, good. This time we're gonna reach forward and up. Big stand. And sit down, good. Do it again, reach forward and up. Big as you can, get straight. And sit down, good. Do it again, reach forward, big stand. You got it, all the way up, you can do it. Keep going, reach forward. Your tallest, biggest posture, good. We're going five more times. Reach forward, whole body warm up. Good, four more times, big stand, and sit down, good. Three more times, get all the way up, good. Two more times, you got it, good. One more time, this time we're gonna stay standing. Take your feet nice and wide, shift your weight side to side, and reach, reach, reach. Good, I want you to focus on shifting your weight, okay? So not just reaching, but shifting your weight right to left, okay? Get most of your weight to that one side. Good, eight, seven, open your hands, six, five, you can hold a chair if you want, you can do this sitting, good. Two, squat it out, ready? Squat, big chest opening, squeeze your shoulder blades, squat, and open, remember that straight spine posture, and open, squat, and open, good. Four more, count out loud, that's gonna help your intensity. Three more, goal intensity, six to eight out of 10, okay? Good, shift side to side again, shift right, shift left, reach with both hands, one reaches up, one reaches down, shift your weight, make it big. Exaggerate those movements, big wide fingers, big hands, seven, six, count out loud, five, do it with me, four, three, two, good, squat it out again. Squat, this time we're gonna pull back. Squat, pull back, watch my hands, they're open and closed. Squat, squeeze your shoulder blades, stick your chest out. Squat, pull back. Squat, pull back. Good, squat, pull back. Squat, pull back. Good, we're gonna take some steps out to the side. You can do this once again, sitting or standing. We're gonna step out with the right foot. Come back to the center. Step out with the left foot. Come back to the center, okay? If you need a chair for balance, it's gonna go in front.
front. Okay? So we're going to the right and we're going to the left. Okay? Nice and big like you're stepping over something. Good. So we're doing whole body warm-ups, right? So we can pump some iron after this. Big step, big stomp, big step, big stomp. When you're stepping, you're turning your knee and foot out to the side. Palms are up. Big hands. Hands are nice and big. Good. Spread those arms out as big as you can. Good. Eight more. Do it with me. Seven. You got it. I like the modifications. Perfectly fine to do it sitting. Good. Lost track. We'll try four more. Four more. You got it. Three more. Make it big. Two more. Good. Take a big base of support. So feet are at least shoulder width apart. I want you to start turning your shoulders and letting your arms just kind of sway at your sides. Okay? So we're kind of loosening up the trunk. We got to have our trunk loose so we can reach easier with our arms and with our legs. So when you're doing this, I want you to turn and look. Turn and look. Turn and look. Good. For four, nice and easy. Turn those shoulders, turn those shoulders. Good, give me some punches. Eight, turn your shoulders. Seven, six, five. You're kind of stretching out through that shoulder blade area. Two, one, good, march it out. Grab your weights, okay? Grab a sip of water too. March it out, grab your weights, keep moving, check your posture. So we're gonna start with a seated or standing Bent over row, okay? Grab your weights. You're gonna, I'll show you sitting first. You can do the same thing standing up if you want more of a balanced challenge or it's gonna bring the intensity up if you're standing. So you're gonna grab your weights. You're gonna sit towards the edge of your chair. This is an upper body strengthener. Show me that posture again. Big posture, right? So we're not here, shoulders over our hips, pull the head back. You're gonna keep your spine straight, okay? You're going to hinge at your hip crease. See that? Do it with me. Okay, you're up nice and tall. You're going to hinge forward, keeping your spine straight. You're going to take your weights, one in each hand. Let them drop down. We're going to hike the elbows up, bent over row, and lower them down. Hike them up, lower them down. We're going to do that first, okay? Then we're going to sit up straight and do an overhead press, okay? So we're gonna start with that bent over row first. So do it with me, sit up nice and tall in your chair. We have 90 seconds to work out here for this. Sit up nice and tall in your chair, your biggest posture. Hinge over your legs, drop your weights down. So they're right kind of by your ankles, your lower legs. Pull those elbows up high and lower down. Good, so if I'm standing, it looks like this, lower down. Pull and lower. Where do you want to work? Where do you want to feel this? Outer sides of the back and between the shoulder blades. So when you hike those elbows up, I want you to squeeze your shoulder blades together. Good. Squeeze. We're going to do little lifts right at the top. Lift your elbows. Seven. Little pulses. Six. Five. Keep them up there. Four. Three. Two. Good. Pull and release. Keep pulling. Four more. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Three more, bend the elbows, let them go straight. Two more, good. One more, stand up or sit up nice and tall. Shoulders over your hips, okay? Weights are gonna come to your shoulders. You're gonna press and lower. Press and lower. Press and lower. Don't forget to breathe. Good, four more, you got it. Three more, keep breathing. Two more, we're gonna do little pulses right at the top. Here we go, keep it up there. Eight, seven, little lifts. Six, get up there. Five, four, three, two, press and lower. Last four, and down. Control that weight as you're moving it. Two more, last one, and release it down. Keep your weights nearby. Find your looped band. We're going lower body. So you're going to find this. Some of you were wearing it as your headband, remember? Oh, is it just me? Okay. Okay. I want you to sit down. Put your band around your 
ankles, okay? So this is gonna be a standing exercise. So this is for lower body, okay? So if we can get standing, this is gonna be a wide base squat. So even if your balance is a little bit challenged, if you can try it, fine. You can always hold on to the chair. We're gonna take our feet wider than shoulder width apart with the band and the weights, okay? We're gonna turn our toes and knees a little bit out to the side. So we're gonna do that plie squat, okay? We're gonna keep our weights at our shoulders, at our sides, wherever it feels good. And what we're gonna, or in front, we're gonna squat down. So as we come down, as far as you feel comfortable, your knees are gonna go out to the side. When you stand up tall, nice and big, you're gonna squeeze your butt and your thighs, okay? You ready? Tummy is tight, you have super good posture. We're going down and up. Here we go. Down and up. Down and up. So notice when I'm going down, I'm keeping my chest up, okay? So I, my eyes are staying on my computer screen the whole time. I'm not looking at the floor. Good. Bend and straighten. Now, if this is too much resistance, like if you feel like, okay, bands and weights together, like that's too much, you can set one or both of them down, okay? Maybe just set your weights down. You got it. I like the modifications here. We got some sit to stands. We got some range of motion differences, right? Chest is up. Try to keep your eyes up the whole time, okay? You're bending through your hips and knees. Bend and straighten. Bend, good, we're gonna do a hold at the bottom. So bend and hold. Little baby bend, doesn't have to be super deep. Four, three, two, down and up. Here we go, down and up, big posture. Down and up. I want you to focus the bending on coming from your knees and your hips. Even if you only go part way, that's fine, okay? I'm still gonna be working even if I just do a couple inches down and up. So you can go as deep as it feels good for your body. Okay, we have 10 more seconds, down and up, good. Down and up, squeeze your butt, squeeze your thighs, down and up, you got it. Down and up, one more, down and up, good. Okay, check in with yourself, put your weights down. If you can take that band off without sitting down but you can do it safely, that's okay. But it's a little precarious, so if you need to sit down, please do. And we're going into some core strengthening. Grab water whenever you guys need it, okay? So don't wait for me to tell you to grab water. Remember our goal intensity is six to eight out of 10. Next up, we have a core strengthener, okay? We're gonna do variations of a plank hold. You know how to do planks, that's your push-up hold, okay? So lots of choices for how to do this. If you're sitting, okay? You are gonna find a place to anchor your hands. It could be on another chair. It could be on a table, okay? So decide if you're gonna sit or stand for this. My people that are sitting, you're gonna take your hands, you're gonna bring them to another object in front of you like this. Keep your spine straight. We're gonna work on some rotation from this position, okay? My folks that are gonna stand up, you can do this at your chair back or at your wall, okay? or at the seat of your chair, depending on how hard you want it to be. We're gonna come into that plank position. Feet are gonna be apart, okay? I don't wanna stick my butt out here. I'm gonna bring my hips in line with my shoulders. And then we're gonna work on turning our chest to one side as we lift an arm up, okay? So this is gonna be easier here than if I try to go down to my seat pan, right? Because I'm working more against gravity. So it depends on how hard you wanna work, okay? So we're in that push-up hold. You guys are gonna listen up, listen carefully. Push-up hold, tummy tight, okay? We're gonna lift the left arm first. So you're gonna lift your left arm, turn your chest to the left, slow and controlled, okay? Turn your chest to the left and hold, how about hold it over there? Can you hold it over there? Oh yeah, little balance, little core. Good, release, come back to that plank hold, push-up hold in the center. Keep your feet wide, tummy is tight. You're breathing, you're holding. Isometric hold means you're not moving anything. Good, now we're gonna lift the right arm up, turn the chest to the right, hold it there. So you're trying to move your chest to the right, you're looking at the right wall, you're breathing. Good, come back to that 
push-up hold. Hold it there. Tummy is tight. Tummy is tight. You're breathing. Remember, your core is your midsection. Left arm up. Turn your chest to the left. Good. Hold it there. Looking that way. So we're getting a little trunk rotation, friends. Good. Release to that push-up hold. Good. Right arm lifts up. Turn your chest to the right. You should feel those belly muscles working. Okay? Keep breathing. Keep holding. Release back to the center. Good. Hold it here. Last 10 seconds. Hold it. Tummy is tight. Yep. Hold it here. You got it. Last three, two, one. Good. Go ahead and come up. Nice big posture. Shake it out. So I want to see you right now for 30 seconds. You're going to march in place, sit or stand, or you're going to give me some cross body punches. 30 seconds. Okay. 30 seconds. Cardio break. This is a good time to grab a sip of water. All right, we're doing those same three exercises one more time, okay? Who remembers what we did first? It was so long ago. Who remembers? Anybody remember? You got to think and move at the same time. It's, the struggle is real. Okay, that first exercise that we did was upper body with the weights, okay? So we're going to sit or stand and we're going to do a bent over row and an overhead press, okay? So go ahead and grab your weights. You guys are rocking it. Keep it up. You can sit towards the edge of your chair or stand. Whatever you're doing, show me your biggest posture. Get up, ear, shoulder, hip, okay? Everything in a line. Hinge. Drop your weights down, okay? Ready? Hike your elbows up. Here we go. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Pull and release. Pull. Keep your tummy muscles tight, my friends. That is what is going to protect that low, breath, the low back. Pull, release. Keep that immaculate form. You can do it. Let's go. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Good. Little lifts right at the top. Pulse it out. Eight, seven, six. Little lifts. Five, four, three. Tummy tight. Pull and release. Pull, release. Let those elbows go all the way straight. Good. Pull, release. Last one. Sit or stand up nice and tall. Shoulders over your hips. Taking your time. Three, two, one. Press and lower. So now we transition from mid-back, okay, to shoulders. The mid-back, those muscles around your shoulder blade, guess what? They help with your shoulder joints. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? The body is all connected. Press and lower. Good. If you're feeling like you're moving kind of slow and you can't get enough power to bring it up, think about pushing really hard, big and fast, up to the sky. Big push and down. Big push and down. Good. Sometimes that helps get over some of that slow movement. Big push and down. Good. Big push and down. One more. Big push and down. Good. Lower those weights down. Find your looped band. You guys take breaks when you need to. Remember that goal intensity is 6 to 8 out of 10. I'm going to keep kind of moving you through stuff. We do each exercise for 90 seconds. Okay? It seems like a long time, but it goes usually pretty quick. We're going to take this band and put it around our ankles. We're going back to that plie squat. Okay? So remember... This is a good one to do standing, okay? It's hard to do this one sitting in the chair, okay? So you're going to turn your toes out to the side. You're going to turn your knees out to the side against that resistance band. Option to add the weights, okay? You can do it. These Most of us have pretty light weights, so we can do it. I'm going to leave mine right in front. Toes and knees are turned out to the side. Posture is up nice and big. We're going down and up. Here we go. Down and up. Okay, so if my knees and hips feel good, I can go down a little bit lower. If I don't feel that good, I might just bend a little bit. That's fine, okay? Bend a little bit. Doesn't have to be super far. This is where you figure out what your body can do for you, okay? Bend and straighten. Your focus is on trunk is up nice and tall, but hips are, and knees are bending and straightening, okay? Big straighten, so you want to really squeeze your hips, the back of your hips, and your thighs, okay? Down, big stand. Posture is up the whole time. You're keeping that straight spine position. Down and up. Down and up. We're going to do a hold. We're going to hold it down here. Good. Give me some bicep curls right here. We're just holding and curling. 
curling. Hold it and curl it. Oh yeah, here we go. You can do it. Well, I, we call that an isometric. It's kind of mean, huh? You're holding it. Good. One more curl. Down and up. Here we go. Down and up. Down and up. If you want, you can keep that curl. That's too much for you. Then just hold the weights down. Good. You have 10 more seconds. Chest is up. Tummy is tight. You got this. Down and up. Down and up, one more. Down and up. Good. For balance, if you need to sit to take that band off, please do. We have one more exercise before our check-in, okay? Grab a sip of water if you want. We're going back to those plank holds with rotation, okay? Try to keep moving in between exercises. So last time, if you did your plank from your chair back or a counter and you want to try something a little more challenging, try it on your seat of your chair, okay? If you do that, you're going to step your feet out wide. You're going to let your big, your thumbs come together, okay? So thumbs are going to come together like this, okay? We're going to come into that plank position. Let's go. Body is nice and tight. So tummy muscles are in. All we're doing right now is holding, okay? If you're seated in the chair, you have your hands fixed on a stationary object. Left arm lifts up, turn your chest to the left. We're gonna count out loud this time. From backwards, from eight, seven, six, five. Left arm is up, turn your chest to the left. Three, two, one. Plank hold in the center, count out loud. Eight, seven, hold center, six, Five, tummy tight. Four, three, two, right arm up. Turn your chest to the right. Hold it. Eight, seven, six, five. Keep breathing. Four, three, two, plank in the center. Hold eight, seven, tummy tight. Six, come on. Five, four, three, two, left arm up, chest to the left. Last time on this side. Eight. Seven, you can do it. Six, five, four, three, two. In the center, hold it for four, three, two. Right arm up, chest to the right. Last time, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Step your legs in if you need to. Big stand, take your time coming up or big sit. Roll those shoulders back. Good. If you want a little bonus, cardio bonus, you're going to grab your weights. 30 seconds. Cross body punches. Okay. Then we're breaking. Okay. Here we go. Let's do it. Straighten those elbows all the way out. Turn your trunk. Keep your trunk loose. You got it. Do you have to use the weights? No. Here we go. Keep that posture nice and big. Let's go, friends. We got it. Good, I want you to start thinking about your exertion level. Six to eight out of 10, or I'm sorry, you're gonna choose a number, right? One to 10. 10 is you're working super duper hard. One is you're sitting there just chilling, okay? Three, two, one, walk it out. Walk it out, march it out, grab a sip of water. I'm gonna call your name. 